commercial world of fluid testing using microfluidics is dominated by companies testing biological samples at a temperature and pressure similar to the human body. At Interface Fluidics, we're doing things differently. We see the impact that these companies have in the biomedical sector, and we're bringing the power of microfluidic technology to the energy industry. Just as a device used to measure blood needs to match the conditions of the human body, a device used to measure fluids underground needs to be at the appropriate pressure. Interface has been continuously developing fluid analysis systems that deliver category-leading high-pressure capabilities. We're excited to introduce a system capable of handling the pressure seen in global oil, gas, and sequestration operations. Over the last five years, we've gone through several iterations of our design and hundreds of safety tests to consistently reach 15,000 PSI, a pressure that allows our technology to be useful for high-pressure reservoirs around the world, like those along the U.S. Gulf Coast, the North Sea, and offshore Brazil. The ability to reach these pressures using microfluidics puts Interface far beyond the capabilities of others in the industry who use traditional oil lab equipment, where large oil samples are the norm. Our system can operate at 15,000 psi or greater than 1,000 bar. Just how high is this pressure? To visualize it, let's look at how fluids would behave if you brought them from the surface to the world's deepest oceanic point, the Mariana Trench. If you were to take all the air in a basketball with a regulation amount of air pressure to the bottom of the 10 kilometer deep trench, the volume of air would shrink until it occupied a sphere with a diameter of just 25 millimeters, making it smaller than a ping pong ball. Now, here's footage showing Interface's system recreating this immense pressure in a lab setting. The analogs used for these screenings are 38 millimeters by 21 millimeters, making them much smaller than conventional PVT cell and core flooding equipment. In this video, we show how a fluid that is generally considered incompressible under most conditions can compress noticeably under 1,000 atmospheres of pressure, or 15,000 psi. The droplet you're looking at is pentane, a light component found in oil. As we increase the pressure, the droplet shrinks. Our data can be compared to literature values released by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. This plot shows the values obtained with Interface's system against the accepted values. In our second demonstration, we'll look at how water saturated with nitrogen reacts under extreme conditions when the pressure is decreased in the system. This fluid has been pressurized to 15,000 psi, greater than 1,000 bar, to fuse the nitrogen into the water. Upon decreasing the pressure in the system, nitrogen bubbles will start to form, which can be seen with a microscope. When the pressure is decreased again, nitrogen bubbles continue to grow, showing that the system is capable of operating at high pressures. Measuring fluid properties at these pressures requires innovative technology, technology that is unique to interface fluidics. With the development of these new pressure capabilities, Interface is now able to address a wider range of fluid analysis needs for our clients all over the world.